videos about computers on the internet got another AIO here for you had a check out with me today making my build look like some sort of carnival ride or circus freak show it's the uh, Intermax Slick Fusion AIO all in one you know uh, water cooler it's got some pretty interesting features I gotta say uh, a flow indicator uh, the pumps like not in a regular spot it's kind of just right over here and uh, the fans and like everything that are individual or addressable RGB is just it's pretty interesting there are some dope effects that come with this thing and uh, you know I plopped it in the bottom here just to kind of finish off the build uh, who knows how long we'll have my Ryzen 7 system here uh, Ryzen 2 coming soon so that's pretty cool but uh, yeah they sent this over for me to have a look at and uh, I thought that was pretty nice of them because it's a really nice cooler like it's uh well thought out and you know it fits in there and uh i used to have the uh noctua nhd 15 with the chromax stuff on there it's a very very good cooler obviously this thing uh you know will fit in a different sort of uh you know situation where that uh noctua it's you're gonna need the right case with the right height and everything it barely fit in here this thing will fit, you know, a lot of cases these days have, uh, you know, a, a 240 mil rad involved. And that's what this is, two uh, 120 fans, really nice individual addressable RGB and stuff like that. Pretty cool stuff from Enermax, but it ain't no good if she's expensive, especially considering Enermax is maybe not the, you know, it's not the Corsair or, you know, household name of thermal take, especially in North America, but it's getting some freaking good results. So this is my build before with the uh, NHD 15. Keep in mind, the, probably the best air cooler you can buy. It's going to get you the best air temperatures, you know, factoring in case and, you know, breathability and stuff like that. It at 3.85 gigahertz on my Ryzen 1700 here was getting, uh, you know, around 61 degrees on average uh, once it was up to temperature after 10 minutes in Ida 64, capping out at 69 degrees. Is this better? Well, after running it for 22 minutes, uh, or 25 minutes actually, no. It gets up to pretty much around the same temperature. Now, that isn't a bad thing, okay? This is uh, a really good AIO, and, you know, it's going to give you some decent temperatures. But that Noctua is, like, one of the best, and it's expensive. In fact, it's about as expensive as this, especially once you start factoring those Chromax uh, add-ons. And, you know, if you want just a standard NHD15, it's like 100 bucks. Well, 
this thing's $120 on Newegg. Now, I'd love to pimp my affiliate link below, but it's not available on Amazon right now. Uh, but if it is, I'll, I'll update it because I would recommend this. It's not uh, a bad piece of kit at all, especially considering its counterparts are all more expensive. Here, let me show you. I have the NZXT Kraken. Uh, same size and everything uh, and it's RGB is in its pump and it's this little mirror thing but the fans don't have RGB and it's a little more expensive if we want uh, you know the Corsair uh, H115i which is a bit bigger of an AIO at 280 mil it's the only one that I could find that has RGB like on the pump and it's 174 and doesn't have RGB fans moving on to the thermal take ring uh, you know the uh, flow with the uh, AIO with the ring fans it's 150 it's the only one that kind of matches perfectly with what this is offering and it's you know $30 more expensive so this is a fairly good deal now I don't have all of those to compare but uh, I did recently do the Corsair H 110i version 2 and the performance is very very similar uh, to this so you know you can save yourself a few bucks get some pretty cool fans and stuff on this thing and uh, end up with a pretty nice piece of kit for $120 I think that's totally worth it so it comes with this little box uh, you can plug everything into if you don't have RGB stuff on your motherboard or uh, you know maybe uh, you have too much stuff plugged into your motherboard you can use this little uh, you know there's buttons and it cycles through things uh, and what was disappointing to me is I already have Enermax's fans in there. And you see I can change the, you know, cycle through the colors and stuff like that. But I already have their fans in there. And the two boxes don't talk to each other. Like, uh, you know, there's a remote I can control the, the, the fans with. Well, it doesn't work that way with uh, this thing. So let's put her back on. There we go. Some cool effect. Uh, but you can plug it into your motherboard and have it feed off of the information on your motherboard. But then you don't necessarily get those cool effects so you know if you're gonna have this I'm gonna probably just leave it on super RGB mode because why not you know you only RGB once so yeah all in all I think it was a simple installation process the we it has kind of a weird bracket system it's like this big uh, you know uh, square bracket you gotta put in there and you can see it from here it does kind of affect the build a bit uh, where uh, you know the Asetech ones have this like little ring it clamps around it and then it's it's kind of out of the way uh, but uh, it, as a whole system to install it's not any different than any, any other it supports all the latest and greatest you know it's on a, a Ryzen system out of the box no problem and uh, you're gonna get some pretty awesome performance and uh, all around uh, good stuff so another uh, home run for uh, Intermax you know pricing it underneath everybody with more features I think that's awesome and the cooling performance is there and in the box they actually give you a little bottle so you can refill this loop if you need to now I hope that doesn't mean that like there's problems with permeation and you definitely will need to use that but it give you the option to refill your own AIO which is not something a lot of uh, companies do they want you to just seal that off and eventually the performance will degradate and you're not going to be able to do anything about that you could clean this out you know and, and you know if you want to venture into that but uh, in my experience with Enermax over the last year I wouldn't imagine you'd have to do that uh, or at least not right away but it's cool that they give you that option out of the box and uh, you know kudos to them but uh, it's also kind of weird that the pumps over here and you know the, there's a flow indicator in it that's you know yeah, that's interesting it's always spinning but uh, all in all I think it's pretty good so what do you guys think in the comments below I'd love to know if you think this looks like RGB crap like a, you know a carnival ride threw up in my computer or if you think this looks really good I think you know it, you know considering the trend where things are going today it's not the most offensive thing to look at but it certainly requires you to have that RGB taste but the performance is there and uh, the, the the looks are there the price is right like what what can you say bad about it I don't know only time will tell I'll let you know if anything you know I'll, I'll put, keep this in my rig for a while but all my Enermax AIOs have been pretty good although I have heard people complain a little bit about certain things or, or leaking or something like that uh, I, I've never seen any real proof of it it's always been like a YouTube comment or something like that I've had no problem with Enermax stuff and you know not, it's not just because they send me things so uh, if you guys want to support the channel I would love uh, some help out on patreon there's 
some pretty cool content on the way. Uh, Ryzen 2 is coming up. You gotta know I'm gonna be all over that when it launches, getting a review sample and you know get a motherboard and some reviews and stuff going on. I also have uh, as soon as my motherboard arrives, I got an you know an H series motherboard coming for this Pentium Gold uh, 5400, and we're gonna do a budget build for Fortnite with uh, the new Pentium Coffee Lake and uh, a GT. 1030 so that should be fun and uh because fortnite's all the rage and there's just plenty of content up on the channel you can always donate to hardware if you have something weird me at timmyjoe.com there's a patreon uh support me on uh, amazon links affiliates uh, got a page below but i'll see you guys in another video thanks very much for coming along with this little ride but i think she looks good i'm gonna keep it in my system in the background here for a little bit of time